it goes. Here we've got a section here that's got, you know, it's got a few ins and outs, a little ball nose radiator pipe. It's on the 45, so what we're going to start off doing, we're just going to do it as if I was fitting on the 45. <clears throat> and then just try and, you know, get the point across about this square off the field revelation that seems to be the answer to every cut. So... In this case, obviously not every cup's going to be the holly board. If you wanted to use the holly board, you can have to bring it right back down to here. And that's if you wanted to get that one. But you're going to get, you're always going to get these cups where, you know, it's not always a herringbone or an easy one on the 45. It's, it's you know, it's going to be plank shots like this. Now, so on this one, I'm going to get the full arsenal out because it's full plank. Lock board there, basically, because that is going to now lock my plank in position. Um, I need, do need to make a new standard board because I've been playing around with mine. But that's why it looks different, but don't worry about that. And, uh, you know, I want to get all my boards out so I can support the plank all the way up. So... Now, you could put the other one on for going up there, but as a rule, when it comes to things like this, I know even though it's possible you could, you know, rearrange the boards until if you had some more, put that one on there and then put the other next cut on top of it. But it, it, sometimes it's quicker just to work, you know, with the one, one at a time. So... As we go through each side of each cut, I will uh, do my best to sort of talk you through it. The weapon of choice today will just either be, we'll just go with the pipe finder. So, straight away, looking at this cut, that one is obviously just your normal straight lay, isn't it? And then you've got your two here, which will be your angles. So, got them in place. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, square off the field where it's number seven. I'm going to make a little mark. Let's just try and do that with that. Sort of stack it up. Just make a little circle around that. I'll put it to this one. I'm just going to do a little stab. Make a little circle around that one. Now, I know this one is square on, so in theory, my mark and the square cut will be there. So you just get your standard template. And you can go straight in with the cut on this one, can't you? You've got your two marks there. So you get your 45 template, it doesn't even have to be anything really, can it? Because basically you just want to line them up. So if that's on there, you just want to... Just going to mark where that comes out. Just to bring it up a smidge. There she goes. Straight out. You snap it off if you put your concave. The inside, you know, shape for the cut before it's done. Okay, that's the first one. So, here we go with this cut now.
obviously we're coming more into close quarters. Hopefully you can see that. Oops, I don't want to touch that. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's now, that would be one way to do it. To check my mark. All I have to do is put a seven on it. Finish down. If I can't it was good. Okay, that's one option, and there's my mark for going the cut across. So, okay, my other option would have been to get the holly out. This is the template. Let's see, on my line there, on my dot there, telling me that that one's okay. So I'll just quickly do it with that. And then if I wish to check. Oops. Okay. So, that would have been the two options. There she goes. A bit tight around the pipe, but that would do us. Okay, so now the next one. <clears throat> Still going on the 45. So we've got the ball nose here, haven't we? Now, I'm just going to do it as if I would, because I've got all the more boards. And there is, get the board of buddy out. Pretty good with just your standard by though, to get your marks. So, here we go again. The more marks you make, Obviously, the more accurate it will be. And when it's on the more board, it's always number seven. But if you can see how easy it is to just make these marks, you know. That one's got it all going now. Right up to my first mark there. Give me an accurate mark there, up to the dot there.
And this is another reason why it's good for the templates to be see-through. So you can see exactly where, you know, your marks are underneath. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so basically. I don't know if I can get this up to see you. That one, you can see that just the bottoms of those circle lines there on the dots. That's how sort of accurate it is, you know. But it's learning to trust those ones, everyone who can, and rightly so. When they get to these ones, you'll, you'll probably go with the overcut and um, the undercut, wouldn't you? So you can, it's better to take a slither off. And these cutting mats are ideal for that situation. Oh, okay, so now moving on to this one. Obviously, this is where the holly board. You know, it. You don't. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? Therefore, I'm gonna have to get in the way here. Sorry. Actually. <laughs> That was if I wanted to do the cut going that way, if it was a herringbone. But, no, to get it going that way, I should have just turned the crank around, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, a double whammy lesson, we can call that. Leaving that last one there. Again, you just go for your boards, and if you can get that one in there, and that's that's all you're going to need, isn't it? So, And if I did want to check that that was right anywhere or wrong, I could put it on the end of the more board. That's telling me it's this on the seven. Bottom of that, that is so good. Right, and then finally round, you can see that corner one, it's going to be. Ooh, not the same again. Yeah, what I can do with this one. Double check to see if oh, a lock board will go in it. I'll just 
and I put the pile anywhere because I've just got it sitting back. Push it up so you know it's in back there. So, there you have it. Um, okay. So, that was basically, what, 23 minutes. 